So this is no secret. Tekken 8 has hardly any preset outfits. And we all know why. We only got four slots. The first two are color swaps of the standard Tekken 8 outfit. The third is something completely new. The last one is most likely an outfit from Tekken 7. Now Tekken 7 had eight slots, double the amount we have now. In this video, I'll be going through each character at Tekken 8 on what outfit should be added. I know some are already out for some characters, but we still gonna give our opinions on this, all right? Now the outfit I'm selecting for Alyssa is this one right here from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Definitely gives off a gothic vibe. You got the different hair colors. Part of it's white, part of it is black. You still got the flower in the head, which is a signature Alyssa thing. And it's very gothic, black, red. And you can even see here, she kind of has the appearance of a wind up toy, a mechanical toy, so to speak. And she is an android, so it all makes perfect sense. Comparing all of her other outfits to this one, this one definitely gives her the most dimension, in my opinion. Now, I know what you're thinking. This outfit right here was Asuka's first outfit in Tekken 5. I mean, it was literally on the cover. Now, I wouldn't be mad if Bandai Namco did make this outfit, but let me share a couple different ones with you. This outfit right here from Tekken Tag 2 got so much swag, man. This is her Yukata design. It's teal. We have the tiger here with the magenta clouds. We have the heels here, but they have like a sandal on top right here with the feet. You know, if we're talking about contrasting outfits like I did with Alyssa, this one is absolutely amazing and kind of fits what is missing. And I had to bring up this mention as well, this outfit from Tekken 5. I mean, look at her hair, kept a different way. She has a tattoo on the inner thigh, wearing heels, by the web design on the outside of the dress like this isn't even a bra bro this is just bandages that are tied to her neck any of these designs whether it's this one this one or that one i wouldn't be mad if we're talking about a new outfit for azucena it's gonna have to be something that has coffee kind of based theme to it because she is the owner of a coffee brand so maybe she has an outfit as a barista or maybe she has a coffee farmer outfit but my guess is Bandai Namco is going to have something a little bit different for her up their sleeves. Brian Fiore. Now, the outfit to bring the Tekken 8, it has to be from the game where he was first introduced in Tekken 3. You see the snow camel pants, the knee pads, the boots, the gloves, the open vests. I think if they actually brought this outfit, they can knock it out of the park. And I think people would buy it. Some of the outfits that Brian has had in previous games can be made within the customization of Tekken 8. This one's a secondary outfit from Tekken 3. The only thing that's missing is the gloves. We put them side by side. Pretty close, right? This is Brian's secondary outfit from the first Tekken Tag Tournament. Kind of close, right? Now for some characters, there is a unique items box that usually shows up under clothes. We can see the Fakazia right here. Brian is somebody that always wear gloves, no matter what type of top he has on. I think he should have that entry in this game, so it's not tied to a top, like this, for example. Don't hate me for choosing this outfit for Claudio. It just looks fun, man. If you look at all the options that Claudio has in this game, it's so serious. And since he is sometimes sarcastic, cocky, it just gives off a different vibe for him. And I think that's what he needs. I have two requests and it also falls under the unique items. He should be able to have his claws. He should be able to equip that. Unfortunately, it cannot. And then also, something that I noticed was removed. Devil Jin used to have different colored wings. Then it got to a point where no matter what outfit he has, it's black. But if that was something we could customize, that'd be cool. Because look at Devil Jin right now. Does he look right without the claws? I don't think so, man. If anything, Devil Jin did have demonic armor in previous Tekken games. Maybe that's an outfit that they could bring to Tekken 8. The Joker outfit has been a staple for Dragonoff as long as he's been in the Tekken franchise. It's always been available. Even though Dragonoff is stoic and unreadable, he's interested in a lot of different things. With how popular Dragonoff is as a character in Tekken 8, it's only a matter of time before this one comes back. I want to see this outfit. The good old traditional outfit that Eddie has had since Tekken 3. Now, when we look at the colors between this outfit and this outfit, we can see that there is a little bit of a correlation with this outfit as well as this outfit. 
This was as close as I can get for one of Eddie's outfits, I believe, from Tech and Tag Tournament. Got the purple tank top, the jean shorts, the glasses. Got a little bit of a wristband. I used the leather customization option for that. Did a side by side comparison. You know, it ain't too bad, right? It's all right. One thing I will say though, just don't do this outfit. And I don't need to tell you the reasons why. Now, if they were to pour something for Tekken A for Feng Wei, I do like this outfit. It's very contrasting and different from a lot of the other outfits that we've already seen. Got the feather in his head, the headband around it. You definitely see there's more kind of Indian based influence. And I could be wrong. I could be talking out of my ass right now. It's something that could help Feng Wei stand out a bit. One of the things I've, I've consistently talked about in this video is bringing something else that's either very familiar to a character or something that is different from what is already existent. Choosing this one, if they did bring it would solve that now hawaii ready has an outfit in the store even though they chose this one i really thought bonnie namco was going to choose this one because when you think of Warring, what outfit do you usually think of and if you're like me you would choose this outfit over this outfit I'm going to include Gun Jack here for Tekken 8. It kind of makes it seem like it was almost a prototype. And even though Jack is a fully fledged machine now and they made him look like such, I think they could definitely give maybe a little bit of tweaks and upgrades to kind of make it this be up to par. And if they didn't choose this outfit, I would love it if they chose this one, the fully armored Jack suit. Have you already seen how many customizations and colors that people have done with making Jack seem like an auto bot? With all these other suits already existing, I think this one will be a great choice. Did a little bit of customization. This is Jack 2. If you were around back in the Tekken 2 days, this is what Jack looked like. He had the yellow mohawk and everything with the camo pants, the boots, green or olive tank top. You can see the resemblance. And they brought the outfit from Tekken 4. And they did an amazing job on this. It was one of the most requested items, I believe. And I think everybody, myself included, back in the day, when we first saw that outfit, we definitely needed it. This is a great nostalgia kick for everyone. Now, it's really hard to top that outfit. If we had to choose another one, this was also a great nostalgic outfit as well. But it's still Jin. That jacket with the orange and the black. Man, this was definitely a tough one, too. Jin also needs the unique items section where we could equip the gloves if we're going to put on a different outfit. Now, June already has an outfit in the store from Tekken Tag 2, and I think it's an amazing choice. Jissy hasn't been in the games as much. There's not a lot of options for her, but since this is a return to the series, I think Bond Dynamica really made a priority for her to have an initial outfit. On her left leg, it's all black, and then you see the crows. They're flying upward, the outfit towards her chest, and the blackness kind of spreads out. Now, this customization I made as a tribute to her Tekken 2 outfit, which is usually all blue she has the short blue jeans the high socks that are also blue the brown loafers the bow in her hair the original outfit only has the gloves only go up to her wrist but this actually goes up to her bicep but it still looks pretty good Kazuya! Now, Kazuya already has an outfit in the store. It's this G Corporation outfit from Tekken 6, I believe. It's okay. Is that this the outfit that I think of for Kazuya? Not really. The two outfits that I chose for Kazuya that I thought would kind of, they thought would be selected is this one right here from Tekken 6 and this one from Tekken 4. This one right here kind of just gives off that street appeal. Also shows off Kazuya's shoe game since he does have a big collection of sneakers. Made a similar outfit in Tekken 7. White tank top, blue jeans, red kicks, bottom of the kicks are white. The only thing is he's missing the gloves from the outfit and his tank top isn't tucked in and there aren't any custom options for that here's the inspo for the Tekken 4 outfit got a gray shirt no gloves the shirt isn't tucked in got some nice slacks got some shoes also had to make sure to get the glass completely blacked out because they're completely blacked out in Tekken 4 King's always been a popular character, so he actually already has an outfit in Tekken 8 and 
definitely takes inspiration from his outfits from Tekken 2. And honestly, I'm not mad at this choice at all. It definitely is a nice ode to the first king, which died at the end of Tekken 2, because this is King 2 for, for semantics and all that crap. The tie is undone a little bit because King's neck is just too freaking big. Got the white slacks, black shoes, rolled up sleeves on the cobalt shirt, the suspenders. Ah, this is a great outfit. But if there was something else that we could choose, I got two choices. This guy right here, the amount of drip nostalgia that this truly brings with the combination of the sky ring with the mountains in the background like you get the sweatpants got the fresh kicks the shirt even had a different colored mask this would have been amazing to add to this game and this outfit from Tekken 4 would not have been a bad choice either kind of gives off a cowboy type of vibe got a little cowboy jacket dark blue poncho got the white fingerless gloves king was dripped out in this one too this bad boy right here great choice for what was selected for King and Tekken 8 so far. I forgot one more outfit for King. This one right here from Street Fighter Cross Tekken is ridiculous, dude. It probably won't even make it in the game because there's a good chance that Capcom was the one that made these designs. But if Bond Dynamico was able to get something like this for King, it's so out of the ordinary for him, but it looks absolutely badass. It looks freaking baller, dude. <laughs> Now, if Kuma is really Heihachi's son, he would have this outfit right here. I don't know how popular the Bears are. I mean, we have seen some Kuma players performing well in these Tekken 8 tournaments. Bring this outfit in, man. Kuma's Heihachi's son. Didn't care about Kazuya. Lee was adopted. Didn't care about Lars. Had that for some random woman. Rain has a whole nother section. Like, Heihachi love Kuma. Give him this bad boy. One thing I will say though, they gotta give my boy some drip, man. Like, look at this outfit here with the flowers and stuff, with the nice pants, the belt buckle. And look at this outfit too. Like, Lars definitely got had some swag, man. He definitely did. But he's been resorted to all this stuff. Bring that back to the boy. Law has always been popular in the series. He has already an outfit for Tekken 8 and it's his yellow jumpsuit. I have no other choice for this. The yellow jumpsuit has been something that's always been a part of Martial Law's arsenal in terms of his outfits. If we did choose an outfit, hey, you could probably choose the chef one from Tekken 6. With this iteration of Martial Law, they leaned more into Bruce Lee. And then when you think about it, Martial Law has failed several restaurants as the actual owner, head chef, whatever the case may be. The yellow jumpsuit perfectly makes sense. Now, if Lee gets an outfit in this game, it has to be this one from Tekken 4. Get the leather pants, the nice shoes, but it's really the shirt that is loose, flowy. It's gradient from the violet at the top down to kind of like a sky blue at the bottom, color is sky blue as well with the black gloves. It's beautiful. This outfit from Lee was definitely one of my favorites in Tekken 7. Got some similarities with the previous outfit. The boots look the same, got the same leather pants, still got gloves, but he has kind of like a see through kind of shirt and then he has a vest on top of it when i played tekken 7 this was primarily the outfit that i used with lee I'm not sure if Leo is popular enough to get their own outfit in Tekken 8, but I chose this one since their father is into archaeology, and that probably does consist of some climbing to some aspect. Seems like something like this would get the job done. I'm shocked that they don't have this outfit right here as part of the entire body character customizations for Leroy, which makes me think something like this might be a skin for Tekken 8 for him. Now, I remember when this outfit first showed up on Twitter and a lot of the Lily mains were talking about the material of the dress, how there were definitely some details that were missing. And this outfit is something that we've seen from Lily in previous games. Like, it gets the job done. Personally, I would have loved to see something a little bit different from her. Like this outfit here. We don't have an outfit for her, but she's actually wearing long pants. Now, if you want to be really bold, there was this biker outfit that showed up in Tekken 6. And I gotta say, this gives off a completely different vibe from Lily. Dude, let me find out she knows how to use a motorbike, man. Let me find out. And this outfit from Tekken Tag 2 is absolutely cold too, bro. Like, it's, it's simple. The black, white, and pink, only three colors. But you have the full-on leg stockings with the heels. The skirt is Dalmatian-themed. The pink helix, black top abdomen showing always has some protection around the hand area that extends over to the elbow this outfit was amazing dude nothing wrong with what we have now previous outfits that i showed you 
These are dope too. Nina Williams! Now the outfit they gave Nina in Tekken 7 is her blood vengeance outfit. And to be honest, I have no idea how she even fit in that damn thing. It is skin tight. But I gotta say, it's not a bad outfit for her, especially being an agent and such. I'm not surprised she would have something like this. The purple camo outfit. I mean, this fits perfectly for her. Wouldn't you agree? So since the outfit I chose from Kuma was Heihachi inspired, it only makes sense that the outfit for Panda is Xiaoyu inspired. And we have this right here. This was Xiaoyu outfits from one of the previous games. And since Panda has some of Xiaoyu moves, it makes sense that she would have the outfit as well. Now I got two outfits for Paul. This one, there's some familiar aspects to it. There's a lot of red, white, and blue that is present, especially on the jeans. But he's wearing cowboy boots. He has some rope that he's holding in his right hand. He's got something around the neck. This is a great look for Paul. He even got the belt buckle. Definitely a cowboy outfit with a revolver or some type of firearm on his right hip. This one's very different too. This definitely gives off a biker vibe also because he has the bandana around his forehead and you see parts of his hair that is overflowing on top of that. I think if Paul's hair was long, if it looked like this, if it was presented in this way, it would be great. Not like this, but like this. <laughs> Now you could say for Raven, this is one of the first outfits that he's ever had. And a lot of his appearances, this is what he wore initially from the jump. So if this was brought back in some type of capacity, I wouldn't be surprised. Like when Raven announced, so to speak, that Heihachi was dead, I would like to think that he was wearing this outfit. Now you can make one of Heihachi's outfits here. The traditional black all over. You see the rips at the bottom of the legs. The sleeves are ripped off. Got the wristbands, the red waistband. Yeah, this is a Heihachi themed outfit and this is available in customization. Now personally for me, I always thought this outfit on Heihachi was dope, man. And I got the all black top and bottom going on with the white shoes. Then he got the fur coat over with the gloves. Shh, man, this was tough, bro. They gave that to Rena, it'd be fly. If Shaheen had an outfit, maybe they bring in something like this. It's fighting style in Tekken 8 as close quarters combat, CQC. And hey, you definitely are using your feet, definitely are using your hands. Certainly could work. So this is an outfit I made in the customization options inspired by Tekken 4. I think it did a pretty good job with it. Obviously there are some differences. It's not a bad job. Classic outfits for Steve though. We need this boxer to come back, baby. We need something exactly like this. I'd be shocked if this one doesn't come back for Steve. And if not this one, then this one. This one was also an amazing outfit. Victor, for Victor, I'm not 100% sure what they would add. This is where I'm gonna come to y'all. Let me know. Now Ling does have an outfit in the shop from Tekken 4. And this is an amazing look for her. Bandai Namco did a great job of bringing this outfit to Tekken 8. And if it wasn't that outfit, this one would be an amazing choice as well. Gives off casual kind of tracksuit kind of vibes. This is a customization option that I made for Yoshimitsu, which in a way resembles his Tekken 3 outfit where his sword, while it does not glow, it is green here. And you definitely see the gray in terms of the overall outfit. You see the red that kind of flows through a little side by side. Doesn't look too bad, right? So Yoshimitsu got an outfit from Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which is the Oni outfit. We got the helmet right here. Looks dope. Then we look at the body. Not too shabby. I don't think this was a bad pick, but if we're going to pick something for um, nostalgia kick. I don't know. This one in Tekken 2 just seems like it'd be cool. It's, it's a throwback. As the games have gone on, Yoshimitsu, in terms of his overall appearance, has gotten more ridiculous. And this is kind of, he's still concealing his identity, but still appears human. And if not that outfit, I really do love this samurai type of vibe from Tekken 5. Sabina! I think it should be a no brainer. It's this guy. Like you look at her accessories, there's definitely some more skin showing. The whole overall outfit just breathes more air. Even her hair looks a bit different. And this is a beautiful outfit for her. Lydia, Sobieska. Lydia is not within the game yet to be selected, but we're gonna do a little bit of predictions to see what her outfits look like. We know what her player one outfit is gonna be in Tekken 8 because it's going to be the one that is shown in the trailer. And it's a beautiful outfit that is updated yet still is familiar to who Lydia is. I wanna say maybe the color swap is the colors are inverted where you see on the screen, you have red and then on the right side, it's white. Maybe they're swapped, maybe everything else 
is too. Lydia's third outfit, I could definitely see her having some type of politician prime minister based outfit because she is the prime minister of Poland. So having something where she is fully dressed up and is not in her sparring uniform wouldn't make perfect sense. And then for a player of four outfit, it's going to be her outfit from Tekken 7. And for additional outfit, I'm thinking we're probably going to have something a bit more Polish themed for her. Like I know in Tekken 7, she definitely had a trendsetter based costume and it could be something similar along the lines of that. And she also has a wetsuit that's usually worn by surfers. Hey, maybe that could be an option too. I know it's been a long time coming to get to the end of this video, but we got through everybody that's currently on the Tekken 8 roster. I hope you understand my reasoning for why I chose specific outfits for specific characters. And if you do have any opinions that you would like to share, I would love it if you did drop it in the comments so we could always have a great discussion about it. Keep loving Tekken 8, keep playing it. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy. Peace.